stream, I'm going to be explaining how to make this guy. So, this is basically an airplane. Um, I have a battery pack, I have two wires connecting, and it has these little thingies on top. And yeah, it makes this propeller thing. It's making a little fan, which is awesome. Um, no problem with that. So, first thing, first, on the first step I did was I bought the stuff from Radio Shack. So, I'm going to be telling you what you need and what you don't need. You need paper, and you need a motor from Radio Shack, a toggle switch from Radio Shack, it could be any toggle switch, and a propeller from anywhere, um, I got it from Amazon, and a battery pack from Radio Shack. Uh, yeah, it has to be, um, enclosed, the battery pack has to be enclosed, and it's double A. So, first of all, you're gonna have to shape the plane. Um, take your first, um, piece of paper, you gotta need three pieces of paper, by the way. You need your first piece of paper, take it, fold it in until it reaches the end, and then put it on the plane. Then you need pieces of scissors. I mean, scissors, I mean. And then you cut the middle kind of the middle and yeah you made this little little thing connecting then you take your other piece of paper fold it into an airplane looking thing it could be any airplane um, wing I just chose a simple one so you stick it through there you tape it on taped it on already and then you make the back wheel which is this part um, I just took a piece of paper, folded it up, shaped it, and then put it on the back, so it looks like this. So yeah, this is what the airplane looks like. And now I'm going to be showing you how to get to the technical stuff. First of all, you're going to have to fill your battery pack. Just kidding, no, don't do that. Um, put your, your battery pack on the bottom of the airplane. Don't put it on the top of the airplane, because on the top of the airplane it'll look really weird, and you're going to be flying it on the bottom, which is bad. Because you need the tail to fly itself, I think. So yeah. You take the battery pack, you glue it on the bottom with your hot glue gun. Which is this thing. Okay. Then you take your toggle switch. You can put it upright or downright. I just put it on this. And it works perfectly. Um, doesn't really matter where it's positioning. It doesn't matter if it works or not. So yeah. Then... You take your, your, what do you call that? Your battery pack, your red wire. Then you, um, cut it in half. Yeah, you cut the wire in half. And then, see, I cut the wire in half. So it can connect to the toggle switch, which will do this chain reaction. You do that. And then you connect the, the one that's connected to the battery wire to the... The toggle switch, any any side, and you take the the half cutted wire and put it on the on the on the other side. But you're gonna have to burn the rubber. So if you have like a parent to help you with that, like to burn the rubber for you with a stove or with a lighter, then you could do that, or you can do it by yourself. Either either way. So. Now this is when the motor comes in. You take the motor, which is um which is this thing right here. You put it on this. And there are little negative and positive signs here, if you can see it. I don't think you can see it on camera, it's too very tiny. So you take the motor, face it on the 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 positive facing the black wire side and the and the um, and the red wire facing the negative side, because red is negative and black is positive, I think. So yeah, you put it on that position, and it will work like that perfectly. Um, it's not that complicated. Put on the thing, but you have good eyes. You have to have good eyes. You put it, you glue it on the thing, and then you connect it. You can, you can, you can glue the the wires if you want to be extra safe, but. I don't, I don't seem to glue the wires. I, I do do that with the red wire because the red wire is really complicated. But the black wire seems to listen. So, yeah. And that makes this motor 
um, connect to the propeller, which will make it spin. So, now here, this is when you take the propeller. You, the one you ordered from Amazon, from a toy store, from Toys R Us, put it, put on the motor, and then you take glue. If you have like um, a little, those little boxes of glue, put it on the the this motor on the tip of the the motor, and yeah, it will just let it sit for two to three hours or one hour if if you can't wait. Um, yeah, and it will just connect and won't fall off, like, easily. And then, finally, just fill in the batteries from the bottom of the pack, which is really simple. And it will create this. And you just turn on the toggle switch. And then your propeller goes on. I haven't tested if this was able to fly. But it might not be. Because it has to be made of cardboard, I think. So... I hope you guys enjoyed an automatic propeller tutorial. It's really simple. Um, yeah. Bye.